Who remembers this annoying little oik from a couple of years ago? What's up everybody, it's Hunter Avalone here and welcome to another video. Today, we are talking about vegans. More specifically, vegans. It's time to stop. Stop what? Not being cruel to animals? Why would we do that? And why would you want us to? Could it be that you want to carry on being willfully ignorant and just try to convince yourself that we do need to eat animals while I'm over here being big and strong and super healthy and just pointing out that, you know, we can get a B12 supplement, we can get protein from plants and you are causing the unnecessary brutal murder of animals three times a day with your uh, selfish food choices. Is that accurate, would you say? Does that sum it up? What, what else is it? Answers on a postcard. Anyway, he's got a new video out. Why I went vegan. It's got to be clickbait, right? But you never know. Let's find out. Oh, hey. Have I mentioned I'm vegan? Uh, it's been about, what, five seconds or so? Yo, did anybody forget that I am now a vegan? Same old shiz. Actually, it's just... I don't know, I thought you might like to know. It's just Hilarious. kind of a cool little personality trait, I guess. Just this little little thing I like to call myself called a uh, vegan, vegan over here. Who's at the door? Have you heard of our Lord and Savior veganism? Hey. Should have said earthling egg. Now that would have been funny. Hey, what's up, my no meat brother? That's that's cool, yeah. Veganism, it's, it's great. You didn't forget, by the way, did you? That I am in fact a vegan. Yeah, come on. Get on with it. What's up everybody? It's your favorite gay looking straight boy, Hunter Avalone here. <laughs> And today, I'm telling you that yes, the rumors are true. I have embraced the soy. Let me also say, I've only been vegan for a really short time, but already, I feel significantly morally superior uh, to all of you hoes. Yeah, I'm vegan because I don't feel like I'm superior to anyone. So why should I take their life for a sandwich for me? Can you think of anything like more selfish than that? Something to make you feel more superior than that? Because I can't. So maybe he's got that back to front. All right, all right, all joking aside, today I actually did want to sit down and just give kind of a succinct explanation as to why I have decided to go vegan. The first... Bloody hell. Now, a lot of people will be super surprised by this, but I'm not. You know, I was the biggest meat eater going. I used to eat 500 grams of animal protein every day because I thought that that makes you stronger and bigger, like quicker. It doesn't, by the way. And it's been my experience that some of the people who are the most vehemently like anti-vegan, they're the closest to changing because they've got that cognitive dissonance going on that they, you know, want to feel like they're a good person who wouldn't ever harm an animal unnecessarily, but vegans are thriving, you know, so that doesn't feel good. So they lash out. So there's those steps of change, isn't there? There's uh, first they ignore you, then they ridicule you, then there's violent opposition, and then they change. And that's what's happened here, isn't it? So. Uh, well done, Hunter. Well done. Credit where credit's due. First reason is I think that it is more consistent with my principles. You'd hope it's consistent with everyone's principles, like not causing animal abuse. You know, do as you thou will be done by or however that goes. You know, that's kind of kindergarten ethics really, isn't it? You don't get more basic than that. A lot of my political goals boil down to trying to make society better for humans, but why does it need to stop at humans? Exactly, most people stop there because they're humans and they don't want anything bad to happen to them, but they want to be able to exploit others for their gain. So uh, again, well done for waking up. When in reality, I want to make the world better for all sentient life. How long has that been going on? Because you were eating sentient life, you know, until quite recently. It's another reason why, and yes, controversial opinion alert, I consider myself pro-life. What this means- Okay, so mostly bangs on about the anti-abortion stuff, but we'll stick to the vegan uh, stuff here, as I'm a vegan channel. Because I would defend the right to life of the fetus because of its potential to be sentient. So yeah, he was defending the potential of sentience that, that could happen. But, you know, you're, you're, so you're defending like actually non-sentience whilst eating sentience. Like that is really backwards, isn't it? And that, that makes absolutely no sense. So little wonder he's eventually seen the light. He's obviously like at least half intelligent. 
or because it already has sentience, then it only logically follows that I should be consistent in my beliefs and extend that to all sentient life. Once I was able to see that this is the ethically right decision for me, it only began to make even more sense when I realized we're not just talking about killing sentient life here. We're talking about a massive industry that treats these animals so inhumanely, so disgusting, I have a feeling it would make almost anyone listening very uncomfortable. This is why nobody wants to watch slaughterhouse footage. Nobody. But if it's good enough for your stomach, it should be good enough for your eyes. So as I was fleshing this out, I also thought, well, maybe it makes more sense than to just go vegetarian, right? Because you're not killing a cow or killing a chicken to get milk and eggs, for example. You but this is where, sadly, I was wrong. The way that the dairy industry treats animals is arguably even worse than the way the meat industry does. For example, the only way that a cow can produce milk is if it's pregnant. So what they do is artificially inseminate the cow so that it gives birth. And here's what's really interesting. A lot of people get upset when activists call that rape. And you know, technically, like by the definition of the word, it's not because rape can only be done to a hairless ape, but it's the same act as sexual like penetration. So if you get more offended at the words used to describe the act than the heinous act itself, that's a good sign that you're the oppressor and not the victim. And you need to get some perspective. Cows have a really high level of emotional maturity. And one thing that's really specific to cows is that they form really strong bonds with their children, even before birth. Okay, so I've not heard that before. That's uh, interesting. So when that baby cow comes out, the mother has a strong, strong bond with that child. All mothers have strong bonds with their children, no matter what species. Imagine taking someone's child away. Can you imagine? Like, th that is some of the very worst abuse I can imagine. Like, you wouldn't do that to your worst enemy. All so we can steal their baby's milk. But Disgusting. the industry doesn't care about that. They take the baby cow away so that it doesn't take any of the milk, all while the cow cries for weeks on end because its baby was taken away. If it's a male cow, then it's killed for veal. And then they just do it all over again. Artificially inseminate the cow, take its baby, repeat. And then within about five years, the milk production slows down, so it becomes financially unviable. And then they kill the cow for meat anyway. So yeah, the dairy industry is the meat industry, plus like more horrible steps, including infanticide. So I wouldn't recommend uh, vegetarianism. Even when we're talking about chickens, they will starve the chicken so that its body goes into this panic mode and starts overproducing eggs. So they bring the chicken onto the brink of starvation. Then they feed it really quick and continue to do that until the chicken is so exhausted and worn out, it just dies. Chickens are meant to produce around like a dozen or so eggs a year. And now they do it like daily. Imagine the minerals that are getting ripped out of their poor bodies with rescue hens. Like sometimes their, their legs just break because they've had all the minerals stripped out of them. So don't think that eggs are a, a kind thing to, to eat. We're talking about baby chicks. They'll either send them down a chute into a blender or they'll put them in large plastic bags and suffocate them. When we're So specifically male chickens obviously don't lay eggs. So their egg industry Kill them on the first day. Imagine that you're looking for love, you're looking for your mum, you're scared, you're, you're seeking love, and then you just find terror. I think you got that a bit wrong there. He's saying they either get macerated, so shredded alive in a big machine, like in a big blender, or uh, actually the way they suffocate them is, is to use uh, gas. They like gas them. But sometimes when they're sorting the, the chicks and they get the boys and they send them down a conveyor belt into like a big bag, they often sometimes suffocate in this huge bag underneath all the other chicks. It's uh, totally sickening. Talking about the meat industry, Donald- And if you buy eggs, it's your fault. Some of it is your fault. If you didn't buy the eggs, they wouldn't do it because they're not making money. So please, if you're buying eggs, please consider stopping because you, you wouldn't have a, hurt a little chick, would you? You wouldn't drop a chick in a blender if I paid you a million pounds. At least I hope not. I certainly would have. Donald Trump actually took away one of the regulations which allowed for the conveyor belts and the way that they butcher the cows to move even faster, resulting in some cows literally getting their legs chopped off while they're fully alive. So that's new on me. So thanks, uh, Hunter, for that research. And uh, again, it don't surprise me. 
Don't surprise me. It's all about profit, isn't it? The kind of shit that goes on at the hands of the meat industry so that all of us can enjoy a cheap cheeseburger is honestly disgusting. And the more and more well I learned about this, the more and more I personally began to feel repulsed by meat. The question that inevitably follows is, well, look at how many animals are killed every year. I mean, we're talking billions on a global scale. Is going vegan really going to make that much of a difference? It will to the animals that you would have been eating. First of all, if just one individual goes vegan, that saves roughly 90 to 100 animals from being killed or tortured every single year. Not only that, but when one person goes vegan, they oftentimes can lead others to do the same by way of example. This is why we're seeing veganism. If people like you don't ridicule them into being submissive and quiet, they do them continue to rise because think on my friend think on as more and more people are realizing that what goes on in the industry is abhorrent and we don't need to be taking away sentient life for us to enjoy good food so not only would just one individual going vegan save hundreds upon hundreds of animals within say a decade it's also really beneficial for the planet and it does help in reducing climate change the more and more people that go vegan the less demand there is for any kind of animal animal products when they're simple supply and demand people there's less demand that means less animals need to be killed and tortured for us to enjoy leather sofas or cheap cheeseburgers once the ethical and moral side of everything was established for me the practical side of everything came a lot easier than i was originally expecting yeah instead of buying instead of putting grain or potatoes on your plate and you know some vegetables and a hunk of meat you just put like some beans or some tofu on there. It's, uh, it's really not complicated. First of all, I was surprised how many foods are really good and are vegan. I was actually already enjoying a lot of food that just so happened to already be vegan. For example, I really like cereal. I like Cinnamon Life. I like Captain Crunch. I like that and it's already vegan. Even like the Impossible Whopper at Burger King was like, really, really good. The only thing is it'll give you heart disease just the same as a meat-based burger. So if you want it to be healthy also, switch the cereals out for oats, switch the burgers out for beans, best or tofu, seitan, tempeh, great alternatives. Could barely even tell a difference, to be honest. Yeah, or if you don't care about your health, eat an impossible burger and it, it'll pretty much taste the same. Also wanted to embrace a little bit healthier eating. I know I just got done talking about Burger King and cereal, but still, I do also want to try and eat healthier. Hit me up, hun. I'll give you my uh, cookbooks for free. I'll even uh, give you a bit of coaching for free to say sorry for when I was cruel in my last video. <laughs> Makes sense to go vegan. I don't like to be cruel to people. I don't do it to hurt people. I just do it to help animals. Right now, also. I know that also there are some people- I'm actually a nice person, believe it or not. Worried about some of the vitamins or nutritional factors factors that are found in meat, but you can find vitamins that supplement for that really easily. The fact of the matter is that according to Harvard University, vegetables are 16 times more nutrient dense than meat. Uh, the only thing that, that you need to mostly, most people need to supplement is B12. Two fifths of Americans are B12 deficient or like have low status anyway. So it's something that everyone should really be looking at. And if you're not getting sunlight, vitamin D, D3 is ideal. The average omnivorous eater eats about 300 IUs of vitamin D per day, and the average adult around 2,000, according to the scientists, probably optimal. So there's two things that vegans ought to be looking at, uh, potentially, and yeah, non-vegans can suffer with those. Uh, so more people are B12 deficient that are meat eaters than vegans, because vegans know to like, consider that. Other than that, eat the range of whole plant foods, eat some flax and chia seeds for your omega-3s, eat a bit of seaweed for iodine or get an iodine supplement and uh, you're laughing, you'll have much more nutrients than uh, someone who's eating Captain Crunch and um, cheeseburgers. And even more so, vegan substitutes are continuing to get better and better and that's because the market for vegan food is getting bigger and bigger because more people are going vegan. Lastly, I do recognize that some people might have a bit more of a challenging time going vegan, depending on how they are financially. Nonsense. <laughs> the cheapest foods in the world are huge sacks of rice. You get them at Asian supermarkets, huge sacks of lentils. They cost next to nothing. For the price of like a, an average steak, you can get like a sack of lentils, which has got many times the amount of protein. Pasta, frozen vegetables, frozen berries, bananas, raisins, 
cheapest foods on the planet and the healthiest. There's no excuse for, for not being vegan in this day and age, none at all. It does suck that vegan food is so much more expensive. So I think it's really important so that the mock as someone who is now a like, vegan, did I mention? Yeah, meats and cheeses are not exactly cheap, eh? I don't think that looking down on someone for not going vegan is fair at all. Rather, I think just trying to politely educate people about the truths of the meat industry and why you yourself might be vegan is a hell of a lot better. Because mm. yeah, there yeah, might be some point. people that simply don't have the budget to go vegan. Nonsense. A $1 cheeseburger is- I like everything Hunter's saying, except for this uh, attack of veganism is expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive at all. It can be the cheapest diet on the planet and it is the healthiest way cheaper than buying some vegan food at the grocery store. And other people might simply be ignorant to what's going on in the meat industry. So all I'm really getting at there is that it's really important not to be one of those judgmental smug vegans that looks down on people as they eat their McDonald's and asks them, did you know that you're contributing to the literal animal holocaust? Yeah, I don't think it's good or funny that you're making light of what animals are going through. It is a holocaust. People get offended when activists use that word, but holocaust means mass murder. It doesn't just mean the Nazi holocaust, which was one holocaust in human history. There have been other human holocausts. But add all the killing up, all the murders, and it will be a fraction of the animal holocaust. So animal rights activists have the right to be more offended about the animal holocaust. And yeah, I don't think it's something to make light of. At the end of the day, these are just my thoughts as to why I've decided to go vegan. Let me know in the comments below if maybe you related to some of my reasoning. Most Please of it. give this video a yes. like, comment below, and subscribe to well the channel. Done. Please, guys, I'm gonna need all the likes and subscribers I can get. That vegan food is expensive, okay? <laughs> yeah, don't keep saying that. <laughs> now click this.